Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl Oism, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Uh, today, I am going to be looking at the Chicago Blackhawks situation and giving my take, which may or may not be popular. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't put this out when it was trending and all of those sort of things like that. I wanted to really think about what is going on, what might have happened, and I could be wrong on this take, but some things popped out at me, especially what Tades said when talked about it. And he took a lot of flack for it. He defended Bowman uh, at a time when probably shouldn't be doing that. If, if we know anything about Taze, first of all, he's not a guy to come out in the media and say certain things very often. Uh, second, he has been known to be of exceptional character. He's a very serious guy. He's a professional guy. He's one of the best leaders that has ever played the game. Kane also put his chimed, chimed in on it. And I just had some very interesting things that came to me in my mind that maybe you'll agree with, maybe you won't, or maybe you've already thought about. But I'll start off saying that we all know, every first thing I heard on Twitter and everywhere in social media was, I heard a lot of slamming for Taves, a lot of slamming on Kane, and the guys that were in the room at that time. All right? I understand. It seems obvious that they would have known the situation at the time. If it had come out, if that, uh, if Beach would have came out and said what he said to people at that time, they should have not, right? Okay, let's say, let's say that he did go out and tell everybody. He didn't keep it private. He did. He didn't just go up to to management or we don't even know who he first came brought it up to really to tell you the honest truth it doesn't say it doesn't say where he the first people he went to now if i'm that guy i'm probably i don't know if i'm going to stan bowman in that situation i might be going right to the top because i want to keep it under wraps as much as possibly i can i can i'm just thinking for me Right. It's obvious. It, it, it seems likely to me that he wasn't wanting this to become a public thing. He wanted it to be taken care of or, and or at least right away anyways. So. If we are to believe that Taze, Quinville, Kane and all of these people would have heard about it in the room. Are you telling me that Rocky Wirtz would not have heard the same thing? What about the league? You know how rumors fly? You see it on Twitter all the time. A rumor doesn't sit there very long before. It's all over the place. He tells somebody, somebody tells somebody, and next thing you know, it's all over the place. It happens all the time. Okay? Um, so I'm going to look at what Tay said, and, and I'm going to take it to the – I'm going to lean to the idea that he's telling the truth. He just – has never shown to have that kind of character to not be that way. Now, in this situation, maybe he's not. But it just seems like odd for him to even come out at all if he was going to say something and it not be true. But let's take a look. I found something. Let's take a look at it. Okay. This was the statement he made when, he, when uh, an interviewer came up to him about the situation on Beach. He said, I knew Stan very well, know him as a great man. He did a lot for me personally coming into the league and over the course of my career. I'm sure he would have handled things differently. Oh, no, that's, sorry, that I want to go, that's Kane. I got to start right from the beginning. To me, Stan and Al make, an arg make any argument you want. They're not directly complicit to, in the activities that happened. That's the one I wanted to say. To me, Stan and L, make any argument you want. They're not directly complicit in the activities that happened. Really. Regardless of mistakes they have made, for someone like Stan, who has done so much for the Blackhawks and Al, as well to lose everything they care about in their livelihoods as well, I don't understand how this makes it go away. To just delete them from existence and say, that's it. We'll never hear from them again. Very heartfelt. But my big thing is, to me, Stan and I'll make an argument. You make any argument you want. 
they're not directly complicit in the activities that happen. I Tay's never heard of it. And Kane, as we go down here, I have a lot of respect for, for them as people. They're good people. When it comes down to how I how they feel looking back on the situation, that's not up to me. How they feel is not up to me to comment on. Now Cain says, now the thing is about this, he 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 believes in his heart, because this is a heartfelt statement, that they're not fully complicit in what was going on. In other words, they didn't know the whole story. Right. So who did? He told somebody, right? You don't think that he went to Wirtz and uh, upper management first? I would have. I wouldn't have gone to management. I would have gone to upper management in this situation. I don't believe anybody there knew exactly what happened. I believe they had a very uh, limited understanding of what happened. I believe it's more likely to me that the Wirtz has covered it up for everybody. They told them that something happened, and I can't find, there's no quotes on this. Shevel, but when Shevel Dayoff did his press conference, he said that the meeting he went to, there's, he didn't believe anybody was going to come out of that meeting believing that what happened happened. Nobody. Not Quinville, not anybody. So was it Ballard covering this up? Ballard is going to get, let go. And basically, he the Wurtzes are very powerful people. If he wants to be able to do this again and protect his career and everything, I think he just kind of shuffles off and hope it all takes care of itself. I knew Stan very well. Know him as a great man, said Kane. He did a lot for me personally coming into the league and over the course of my career. I'm sure he would have handled things differently nowadays. Okay, that makes it sound like he knew something at that time and he didn't handle it right. Kane gives you that impression. But I think Kane is just operating under the understanding that what has been is what has been. What happened in the past, and I think the organization made the right moves to get the Blackhawks going forward in the right steps, making sure they're trending Forward. He's saying the right things. And he, 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 of course, expresses empathy for Beach, which we all do. Of course. Uh, Kane remains adamant he did not know about the assault at the time, and the report of the lawsuit first came months ago that he not, did not know it was Beach. He did not know. Is he lying? Maybe he doesn't have the credibility. He's got a bit of a past himself. But Taves, on the other hand, doesn't. So if they don't know, how does Quinville know? Well, he was supposed to be in that meeting. However, Shevoldayoff said there's no way anybody could come. He didn't believe that anybody could come out of that meeting knowing exactly what happened. Why? Because I believe they didn't know exactly what happened. Wurtz did. Here's the other thing. You telling me the league didn't know back then? What happened? Possibly. Possibly the Wurtz just didn't tell anybody. Not even the league. I'm going to give them that. But if rumors did go out, they had to know about that as well. I personally believe that Wurtz would have went to the league and said, Whatever they said, whatever they told Bal whatever they told Bowman, whatever they told uh yeah, whatever they told Bowman in the and the management at that time, I'm sure that they put it to the league. Because it's gonna get out whatever that was. They might not it might have known there was a uh it, Kane and Taze probably knew there was some sort of issue that happened there and there was something that happened with Beach. And I'm pretty sure the league would have heard about it too. And they didn't do a darn thing about it. Is that because they didn't know the whole facts either? 
I'm not buying. There's too many things here that doesn't make sense. And when when Shevel Dayoff went and said that he came out of that meeting and he didn't believe that anything that was said that would make you believe that what happened happened. I believe him. And they obviously know that it's true too because they let him go and they bit. But basically the, the league put it as, well, he wasn't a senior person, so we let him go. We didn't let him go because he wasn't directly, it wasn't his responsibility to do anything about it. But there was apparently a meeting after that that we know very little about. Nobody there, nobody's talked about. Um, but I don't know. Joel Quindle never came out and said what he did or didn't do or what have you. He just went to the meeting. They told him they have to go because you should have reacted in this way for whatever was said. That's it. I believe I'm leaning, much more leaning, that Quinville and Bowman are being scapegoats for something that was much bigger than it was. This is damage control. Damage control for the wor for the Wurtzes and for the league. I think the league knows exactly what happened. I think it's very possible they might not might have even known much more than they did. Now, Beach has not came out and said that he told the league this. He went up to the highest of high brass about this. But through all this time, this John Doe was making these statements. What was the league doing? So it, it's a it's it's a big cluster to me, and I have a lot. I have a lot more questions than answers. If Shovel Dayoff says that he, he that they he doesn't believe that he would could anybody could have known in that meeting, and that's the meeting that I knew they were talking about. Why does Quinville get fired? Why does Quinville get fired? Why does he have to go or not even like forced to leave the league and Bowman as well? No matter how you do it, I certainly do not believe that that Rocky Wirtz didn't know something was going on at that time. And they get a $2 million fine? That's what they're going to get out of this? Is a $2 million fine. Yet, like Tay said, we're just going to erase Stan Bowman as if he doesn't exist. Possibly Quinville as well. I don't believe that. I believe they'll they'll probably be able to come back. Maybe Bowman less than Quinville. Quinville will probably be able to come back. They'll do some things to point in the right direction of abuse and all of those things, and he'll end up coming back. But to me, it was more like we got to let you go, Q. We got to let you. We got you. Got to you. Got to get out right now. You got to stop coaching right now. And Quinville's like, well, I didn't, how, I wouldn't have known that, blah, 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 blah. And he, they said, this is what needs to happen. And he just realized that it wasn't a fight that he wanted, that he could fight. So he said the right things on his way out, and he left. Stan Bowman looked absolutely surprised by it all. And maybe the same thing happened then. This seems like damage control for a problem that was much bigger than it was and up higher up than we have been led to believe. That's my take. What do you guys think? Do you agree with that? Steel Flyers All Sports Network. If you like four major sports and all the teams in it, you'll like Steel Flyers All Sports Network. You can come and talk to me about this on my show, the NHL Pearl of Wisdom show, from 3 to 5 Eastern weekdays. Come tell me what you think. I'm not sympathizing. Oh, maybe you think I'm sympathizing. Tell me you think I'm sympathizing. That's all right. I'm not going to put words in your mouth. Think I am? Tell me in the comment section. You think you don't think I I got the right lean here? Then tell me that as well. If you think I do, tell me that. Love to hear from you. That's my full 42K. Bye.